On February 29th, Rachel Brosnahan captioned her TikTok, a supervillain, a journalist, and an alien walk into a bar. But I think I need to set up a punchline a little bit more than that. After it was announced on June 27th that she'd be playing Lois Lane in Superman Legacy, it was about two weeks later that the SAG strike started. See, it wasn't until award season where she was doing her final circuit, being honored for her work in Marvel, this Mrs. Maisel, that Rachel could be asked about the DC Comics role. We've been having a lot of great conversations, David and I, uh, with James Gunn, the director, and we've been talking a lot about where this project fits into the canon of the Superman, the Supermans that we know. So hopefully this will be, uh, we'll be putting our own stamp on things. First with Extra at the Golden Globes, and then with the Hollywood Reporter at the Emmys. Well, I'm stalking some journalist friends of mine, just asking some questions about what it's like to be inside a newsroom and working in investigative journalism. Yeah. You know when you start filming? Can you say? I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. Okay, I'm gonna say it. We start filming in March. Then on February 22nd, James Gunn revealed that the cast had their first full table read, Rachel talked about that two days later with The Hollywood Reporter as Rachel officially closed the chapter of Maisel with her final nomination at a major award show at the Screen Actors Guild Awards. It was so fun to get to hear people embody these characters. We've been sitting with this script, just it, you know, making all these characters up in our head for so long. And so it was great to hear it out loud. I can't wait to start shooting. Well, Rachel didn't have to wait much longer because five days later, James wrote on Instagram, overjoyed to be announcing the start of principal photography on Superman today, February 29th, which just so happens to be, coincidentally and unplanned, Superman's birthday. James's post was shared by Rachel on her Instagram story, and so did David Corinsett, who will play Superman, and Nicholas Holt, who will play Lex Luthor. And now we can come back to Rachel's TikTok that was posted on that same day, February 29th, with the caption, a supervillain, a journalist, an alien walk into a bar. So yeah, David, aka the alien, and Nicholas, aka the supervillain, pop their heads in at the end of Rachel's video. Labeling Lex Luthor a supervillain is a pretty thin veil <laughs> for Rachel's going for there, so I would think she probably should have called him like, I'm a scientist or a business mogul, but hey, it's day one of Rachel being a journalist. She'll get the hang of this. <laughs> it's a fun first post to start things off. Even I had to realize how little context Rachel put to that video. Like, if you didn't know she was cast as Lois Lane, you'd have no idea what was happening in that video. The only hint is really the tagged Superman music. But yeah, what did you think of that first post? This is probably too insidery um, for most people, but I found it interesting that Rachel got to do that first post. Um, obviously, these things are done with discussion and permission. James Gunn isn't just the writer-director of Superman. He's the creative head of DC Studios, so he can do whatever he wants, really. Um, but no, a discussion would have happened with the publicity team of, you know, are we going to acknowledge the first day of shooting? How are we going to acknowledge the first day of shooting? So yeah, James did the post acknowledging the beginning of shooting with the first image, and all three actors shared that on their Instagram story. The Superman account and the DC Comics account also shared James's post. Then Rachel got through the first video on TikTok, and yeah, not only are they not in the bar, they're not on set, they're not in costume. Really, the only like cool thing about the video is like all three of them in the frame together to acknowledge that yeah, they're all there together. I do find it kind of funny that the guy playing Superman didn't get to do one of the two posts acknowledging the beginning of shooting the movie called Superman on Superman's birthday. <laughs> David did wipe his Instagram clean at some point before yesterday and he used James's image for his own post yesterday, but he didn't put any caption to it. <laughs> so what's the point? It did provide the forum for James to comment. I didn't know if I should post this photo from my iPhone or the video view rolling around in the snow in your swim trunks to celebrate the start of shooting. Rachel commented, Wow, finally got that follow. Happy B-Day, Soups. I'm assuming that she got a notification that David finally started to follow her on Instagram yesterday, so I guess he doesn't log on to Instagram very often. Nicholas also commented, Happy birthday. Yeah, to be clear, it wasn't David's birthday yesterday. It was Superman's birthday. David's birthday is in June. So yeah, they were just acknowledging the birthday of the character that he just started to play yesterday. But yeah, between these two posts, the guy who's playing Superman didn't write anything. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt over the next few months there will be social media posts that show the first costume and the first set and the first shot from the actual film. Like yeah, that'll all happen and I'm sure David will share one of those. I just find it funny that the start off shooting, the guy playing Superman doesn't actually get to say anything or post really anything about the beginning of shooting. Eh, what do you think?